This week on Sport Fishing, we're back aboard the El Dorado. We're at San Nick Island. First stop, and we got a fish going right here. What's your name, sir? Eric Salazar. So Eric's got a fish on right here. It's a head shaker. Don't know what it is. So the plan is today, we're gonna be doing some bottom fishing, looking for a few exotics, like hopefully what Eric has on right now. We'll see what we do. All right, so stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. Oh, down there. Oh, there's color. Sheephead. Big goat. We'll be back with a few more with Dan Hernandez. I'm Dan Hernandez, and I live to fish. All right. I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh! Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. Small though. Oh, white fish. Oh, Little white fish. Slide down, guys. Sorry.
nice white fish. Yep. Call a willy fish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, buddy. Uh oh. Look at that. Look at that willy fish. <laughs> there we go with a willy. Here at Nick. Right now the guys are just bottom fishing, trying to load up on white fish, little rock fish. I got one going here. It feels like a little small white fish. Let's see what it is here. Here it comes. There's color. Yeah, it looks like a white fish. Here we go. Little white fish. If you never had these, you can fry these up whole and they come out really good. They're really delicious. Just a basic rig that we're fishing with here, right on the bottom. And uh, this is a perfect size to cook whole. Fry the whole fish, comes out nice. All right, let's take a little break from the action here aboard the El Dorado and go to the tackle box and give you a good look at the gear we're using for today's trip. This week in the tackle box, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today, fishing aboard the El Dorado. We're basically just rock fishing. And when you go rock fishing, it's really important that you have a different size hooks with you. Normally you think you just need one size hook because you're going all the way to the bottom, but really some of these fish have such small mouths that you have to really downsize your hook. Don't worry about the line or anything, just the size of the hook. And what I mean by that is for the whitefish, on this episode we catch a lot of whitefish, downsize to like a size two live bait hook will work out really good. And I know a lot of you think that's kind of small. Some of these whitefish get pretty big but you need a smaller hook to catch the whitefish and just gonna put a strip of squid on there, works good. Once you get the, the grouper around, you can go back to that 3.0 and 4.0 using the live sardine, but when it's all whitefish in one spot, really downsize your hook. Go to a size two, size four, maybe a size one, something like that with a piece of squid on there works really good. Now, when you get those bigger rockfish, like I said, you can use a larger, like a live bait hook, what I like to use is a longer hook like this that has a long shank. That way I can run the squid through here three or four times and when they're biting away they're not going to pull my bait off. Another way you can go is if you don't want to use a hook and the way I like to fish a rockfish is to use a bucktail. Half ounce or one ounce bucktail tied onto your dropper loop is deadly on these rockfish 
and because it's pulsating, if your squid comes off, you're still gonna catch fish with the bucktail. One last tip about rock fishing. When you're fishing this deeper water, you gotta fish heavier sinkers. I see lots of people come out on the trips with four ounces and six ounce sinkers, and then they have to buy new sinkers from the boat, and it gets expensive when you're buying them when you're offshore. So bring some 16 ounce sinkers with you. You know, you can always use them if, again, if they don't go bad. So keep a couple of these with you always in your tackle box and you'll be glad you did. When you start fishing that deeper water with a little current, 16 ounces is what you're gonna need. All right, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Fishing here at Sand Neck, and Sand Neck is the farthest island in the chain out here. Next island past here is Hawaii, which is a long ways away. So what we're doing right now, all the guys are fishing light rigs, like a eight ounce, six ounce sinker, or six ounce sinker. I have a four ounce sinker. We're only in 100 feet of water. I have a size two live bait hook on, strip of squid. I'm getting bit right here. Ooh, missed that one. So they're just picking away. There's a lot of white fish here, other little rock fish. And all you do is just get your bait all the way down the bottom and just hold on. These whitefish have really small mouths. You should probably be using a smaller hook, but I already caught a couple. Let's see if I can get another one. That's a willy fish. <laughs> Is that a keeper? Yep. That's actually a good thing. Oh. I know. <laughs> Sir. Brown rockfish, San Nicholas Island. Two. All the way around, buddy. All the way around. Step that way. Step right, guys. All the way up. Keep step to the right, up, guys. guys. Chucklehead. Big copper. Yeah. We 
Here's Ryan, he just got this beautiful red snapper fishing on the bottom. Skipper's gonna make a move right now in the Eldorado. We're gonna reposition, take a break from the action, and let's go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious rockfish we're catching today here at San Nicolas Island. Nice fish, man. Thank you. This week in the galley, we're in Fullerton, California at the Matador Cantina. And it's a, a restaurant right here in the downtown Fullerton area. Standing next to me is Chef Dave, who's also an avid angler. And thanks for inviting us back, Dave. Thanks for coming back. Appreciate it. Good to see thanks, you Thanks, Chef. So what do you have in store for us today? Right, I got some local sculpin today. And what I'm going to do is a drunken fish dish. Uh, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to get a little oil going over here in this pan to cook the fish, and this one to cook the veggies, and the sauce. I'm going to take the fish. I'm going to put it just a little dredge and some seasoned flour. Um, with these delicate fish like that, is the flour just kind of helps keep it together in one piece. So we're gonna get this going. It's gonna be about three minutes per side. First, I have some uh, just diced zucchini and squash. And we're just gonna saute that real quick, a little salt and pepper. And then I have a reduced, I already reduced some cream, lime juice, and tequila. And the tequila is what makes this a drunken fish. <laughs> okay. Um, but I'm going to reduce it a little more, and then I'm going to finish it with a little bit of garlic cilantro butter. So we're going to get this going here. And the actual alcohol, the tequila, will burn out in yes, the cooking? Yes, everything will cook out, but it will have a nice flavor to it. Nice flavor. The sauce is just about done. What I'm going to do is just turn off the flame, and then I'm going to put my butter in. And I'm just going to whisk it in there. And even though the flame's off it, it's still pretty warm. Oh, it's very hot still, yeah. You just don't want to break that butter. So you're just going to leave that. This is going to go aside. The rice in the middle there. We're going to take our sauce and we're going to put it in here. And we're going to save a little bit more to finish on top of that fish. So that's gonna be our presentation side. It's got a nice color there. Right on top like that. We're gonna go back, we're gonna take this reserve sauce and we're gonna try and get some of it on top for some flavor of that fish. And just to make it look nice and beautiful. Well, Chef, this looks wonderful. I got to take a bite of this. All right, enjoy yourself. And I like what you did too, the way you filleted the sculpin. You know, I've seen that done with a few chefs where they'll take different sides of it or different pieces just to change the look of it a little bit. This looks really, really good. Oh, that falls apart nice. I got to try the drunken sauce. That's delicious. Thank you, I appreciate that. That's very good. The vegetables came out really nice. And you can taste the flavor. It, you know, you don't taste the tequila, but you can get the flavor of the tequila. We're here at the Matador Cantina in Fullerton, California, downtown Fullerton. Thanks again, Chef. Let's My get buddy. back on the water, show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> Island Link card. Give me one second, I got a fish going. Yeah, this is good. Wind on it, Mike. Don't pump, just wind on it, please. I want you to move the power. Color? That's a link. Yeah. Nice fish. Oh man, big Woo! -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Yeah, oh, baby! Right there, buddy. Awesome, man. On the D? Yeah. 
and 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 is sport fishing. Just got bit on a live sardine on the bottom. Just have a big sinker on the bottom, big live bait hook. Yeah, it got bit pretty good. Doesn't feel like a lingcod, but it might be a little one. There's color. No, it's a rockfish. Salmon grouper. Nice salmon grouper. There we go. Nice quality salmon grouper. It's got that on the live sardine. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action and when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. Today's tip of the week, I want to talk to you about how we caught all the fish today aboard the Eldorado. And it was pretty simple fishing. It was basically using strips of squid for all the rockfish. And they really didn't bite very much on the artificials today. And those big lingcod, my caught that monster lingcod today, got that on the live sardines. All the salmon groupers and the lingcods today came on live sardines. It was really good fishing. So the guys had lots of fun. We had a great time fishing aboard the Eldorado and thank TJ, the skipper, and the whole crew, and the landing there at Long Beach Sport Fishing. It's always fun to fish out of there. Well, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.